Hello everyone, this is Kuroda giving, okay, excuse me, moving the microphone. Anyways, hello everyone, this is Kuroda giving you a shoutcast and a game of SOTIS, Storm of the Imperial Sanctum. Um, this is going to be an in-house game, so it should be pretty interesting. Um, unfortunately, I know that um, I'm, we're still trying to make some updates to the spectator perspective. I talked to Echo, I talked to Brax. Um, there are going to be some changes eventually to where um, the spectators can hit tab and actually pull up the score screen. Right now, it um, it doesn't really, right now it doesn't really work that way. So that's rather a disappointment. I can see the menus that they're bringing up, but um, what are the chances that I'll actually see them as they're hitting tab? Uh, that is very very unlikely. Anyways, it looks like it is going to be a. This is obviously going to be a Protoss versus Zerg matchup, as it is. You know, always Protoss versus Zerg. You can see there's a Unix, a Lord Z, a Mandrake, a Cow, and I believe a, a Biotron coming in from the Protoss side. Meanwhile, we have a Lord Z, a Grunty, a Cow, a Drake, and a Tosh coming in from the Zerg side. Now, I have been getting requests to cast. Um, some more uh, more SOTUS games. Um, I will let you know this this right off the bat. If it's a pub game, if it's a public game, I most likely will not cast it. Uh, just because um, I'm trying to really support and I'm really trying to uh, build up the SOTUS community. Um, and just being able to bring SOTUS to a higher level of play. A lot of the interactions in the SOTUS are, um, I'm afraid to say, are really negative. Um, you get you tend to get chewed out a lot for not knowing how to play. Um, that is just an unfortunate, um, an inconvenient truth or an unfortunate fact of any um, Momba style game multiplayer online battle arena, where if you don't know how to play, you can really change things up and make it go bad. We are gonna have a Grunty in the mid lane versus LZ. Meanwhile, in the top lane, it is going to be a Cow and Drake versus LZ. And oh, sorry, it's not. It's gonna be a Biotron and a Unix. So very 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 interesting combination there meanwhile on the north side we are going to have uh, a, a lz and a tosh i thought we had a drake on the on, yeah there's a drake as both sides are just battling it out you can take a look and see what's happening there a nice wall going straight down the middle and now um, both players are just trying to deny experience on on top of each other as much as possible you can see lz taking a lot of damage already that might be a problem and we make it a very early first blood down to 83 hit points but able to barely escape now, one of the benefits right now for Zerg is that they are going to have a Tosh on their field. And the Tosh, if you did not know, allows for an additional three minerals per kill. So that definitely does help out. Toss also a very, very strong hero um, in whatever build order he does. He's able to get off a lot of stun locks as well. As you can now see, he is deciding to pull back. Now, back over here on the north lane, we're going to see Drake trying to pull in. Biotron coming in, uh, doing that, uh, what, that, that Claymore attack of his aberrated claymore uh, now pull, pulling back up and really just pushing in onto the tower unix doing a great job with those um, with those infested terrans i or but the infested airborne division there as grunty now looking to perhaps go for a gank we are getting a bit of stun there is a pluck it did miss by jj or uh, miss jj there as silent reaper and oversoul both sides are still trying to battle it out and grunty quickly picking up uh, the regeneration um, regeneration creep and that is going to definitely help him out perhaps get him into level 5 as he does a lot of damage with his shotgun back over here you can see Biotron uh, coming in there's that Claymore spawning even more little infested Terran units there getting in a lot more damage constantly coming back in with that over and over again it does have that cannibalize ability and now going to start pushing in against this spine crawler in comes a row of, of that fissure there as you can see grunty now in the in the middle at level four you can see level five for lz meanwhile on the bottom side the the bottom lane seems to be just being owned by i would say tosh and lz having the advantage there it is level three versus level three and level three but both of these heroes have been able to get off a little bit more denies as um, a lot of damage has been dealt so far the top tower over here the tier one tower is starting to fall Ant has to be really careful. Those, those infested Terrans are not within combat range. Need to get within there now. Starting to attack. Going to be able to push through rather easily. Meanwhile, in the center lane, LZ able to clear off the rest of this creep wave pretty easily. He does have that overdrive and that blink storm. Both very, very nice abilities. You can see Grunty now opting to try to clear out creeps while his wave is down as the first tower now goes down. 
Um, the Zerg tier 1 has been destroyed. And we'll see if we're going to see a, a counter push here. It looks like a lot of the pressure being placed down onto um, the heroes. As Silent Reaper and Oversoul in a bit of trouble. And oh, down goes a hero. I believe that may have been First Blood. Yes, I believe that was First Blood there. Heroes are both sides getting taken down. And now it looks as though JJ trying to pull back with his one unit. There was a creep jack. Um, LZ coming in over from the middle lane, but Grunty now coming in and oh, missing Oversoul. That was a huge, huge miss there as uh, heroes are coming in now from the south. In comes a very nice fungal growth. Surround there. This is going to be a problem. We may get a lot of deaths, um, but heroes are very low on hit points. Grunty, the carry, does get taken down and now in comes Drake. Drake should be able to get off perhaps a pluck in just a moment, getting in some damage. There's the, there's the magnitude. There's the pluck and damage. Down it goes and things going well now for the Protoss army as as what and Tosh now tries to stop this so in a very very short amount of time um, the Protoss army even though they are now down one tower getting in a lot of kills the score is now three to one in favor of Protoss but then again um, you can get all the kills in the world it doesn't matter um, it doesn't matter it really matters who takes down the Nidus Worm or the Fleet Beacon first as this game now continues and now uh, it looks like both players or both sides are now trying to re um, repurchase and get back more minerals and then see what the next items will be. You can now see Grunty back in that center lane. He does have that river racer ability able to run up and down the river moving very very quickly. It really kicks into overdrive at level 2. Um, quickly using that shotgun clearing out the center. Also being able to um, heal up. Um, energy and hit points um, very very well as we can now see Drake now trying to make his way over is Drake gonna perhaps get a pluck on the Biotron that is the key question there um, it doesn't look like it Drake now deciding to back off Drake only sitting at level 4 so that is a bit of a problem there as level 4 versus a level 6 hero levels do definitely make a very large difference in the early portion of the game it starts to not matter as much later as you can see, oh, Silent Reaper getting stun locked there. That is going to be a problem. He may get taken down. Yes, he does get taken down. LZ able to come in. Now going after Unix. Unix having a bit of a problem there. As both sides continue to battle back and forth. You can see, oh, Crying now trying to pull back out over here. Infested Terrans are now pushing their way for it. As we have a very large engagement. LZ getting stunned by that rocket launcher. And now both sides clearing the way through. And both sides trying to back off once more. The score is now 3-3. Three to three. So the Zerg side has been able to get back into this game. LZ may be able to come in. Blink Storm Overdrive. This may be a problem. Oh, a very nice. I believe that was a, uh, a not a Chrono Dagger, but a Warp Prism able to blink away. But that, that doesn't really make that much sense. As the Drake now down to 79 hit points. He's dangerously low on hit points. Is he going to get stun locked is the key question. Down to 43 hit points. He does get taken down. As now we are both sides continue to fight. This is going to be a very, very bad situation here. As a stun lock may happen there. There is that fissure. Is he going to be able to run away? It looks like he will be able to. And now a very low hit point cow trying to engage as well. Infested Terrans now once again being added back over here. It looks like Grunty is going to be making a, a mad rad dash through the river to try to help support this uh, bottom lane once again. A lot of the action happening over here. Infested Terrans now trying to push in once more. It looks like uh, LZ is going to be able to... No, he's not going to clear out these creep camps. And we may have, once again, another push in the center. I believe Grunty is just going to run back over there as quickly as possible and try to clear out this creep wave and get as much damage and then uh, perhaps perhaps push a tower if it is at all possible. Back over here, we do have three people in this bottom lane and we are going to have a push of, of the creep wave as well. LZ quickly clearing this out. We are getting some specters in this engagement as well as we may get a magnitude. No, no magnitude, no pluck coming in. And now Tosh coming in, trying to deny some of these units over here as we are now getting LZ to push in. And is LZ going to be able to blink storm and get a surround? That is a key question. No, no immortal soulless coming in this time around as this tower stays up and running. We can see an engagement over here on the top ground. And oh, the ultimate ability, the putrefy coming in. But oh, a very nice um, use of the what's it called. And now using, a, uh, using the epilogue, is he going to survive is the key question. No. If he had just used the epilogue a bit, bit earlier, he may have been able to um, come back in with full hit points and then turn around and take an out Biotron. It looks like Grunty, however, going to come in and do all of the hard work. Is he going to be able to make it in there? I believe he will be able to. He does have enough for a rocket. 
uh, and there it goes. There's the rocket. Uh, now Biotron down to 64 hit points. Will he be able to run away is the key question. Biotron being very smart, deciding not to run into the river. That would have been a very, very bad day if he decided to run into the river. As we now see a push happening over here as well. It looks like another hero was taken down. Yes, it is now 6 to 5. Uh, a toilet being used or a totem being used in order to heal up as well. Meanwhile, Tosh now in that top lane. A tower was denied. Um, this I'm not quite sure which tower was denied. This tower over here in the center was denied by the Protoss. Giving um, half the amount of minerals to all of the heroes at, or all the champions as opposed to the full heroes. And now Tosh making, I guess, another push back to the main river. This tower is still pretty much on full hit points. Trying to clear out more creep waves. Going to shut down all the rest of this, um, rest of these fire bats over here. And now, I guess, try to push over here as well. So, taking a look at the towers, we are pretty even. Um, two towers are down versus, uh, ver yeah, ver one tower is down, two towers are down total, one tower from each side. As Biotron now pushing into the center, trying to clear out that main portion here. You can see um, a lot of infested Terrans just getting in a lot of damage. And we may see the Drake now trying to push in, missing with the magnitude. We may be getting a pluck. Oh, the pluck just missing there. A counter pluck coming in from Silent Reaper. As LZ unable to give chase, there is that epilogue. No, no epilogue at all. It looks like an epilogue was trying to be used as a, now a creep wave coming in. And now we are going to perhaps get a creep jack here. Lalu now coming in. The pluck missing, but the pluck hitting. Immortal Soul is now coming in. Both sides getting in a lot of damage. In comes a toilet. A lot of... Yeah, just watch what's happening. So hard to keep track of everything. As Grunty now coming in. And another hero getting destroyed. Taking a look at the hero count so far. It looks like the Protoss is winning now on this battle. And this tower will quickly, quickly fall as we are now currently at 3 to 5. And it looks like there is a pause, please. And the pause may have already happened. I'm not 100% sure as the game is now continuing to push. And we are now seeing um, the Zealots now trying to push down over here. This one Zealot in a bit of an issue there trying to pull back. It will be able to do so. He definitely needs a Vernal to try to get up some additional hit points. Oh no. Just going to have Unix use its ultimate ability on him. And perhaps Burrow in order to get more hit points as well. It looks like another tower has fallen. Both sides going to be engaging a Putrefy hitting in the center. But that one totem dealing so much damage. And now and all the units are coming back. It looks like oh. Immortal Soul is just missing T-Bone there. As he was able to pick up that accelerating Raptor. Nicely done. And now able to return all the way home. So the scores are once again pretty even. 7-9. to nine, A very close matchup so far in this battle. Um, as we are now transitioning into the mid game. Where it is a lot more about teamwork and ganking. As opposed to trying to destroy or as opposed to trying to destroy towers. A lot of the towers are already very very low. And it looks like with the help of this creep wave and the tower. These, the, all the heroes from the Zerg side will be backing off. There is a Grunty over here sitting at a level 11. and He will be, have that faster River Racer. Definitely, definitely going to be helpful. Will he be able to run away? It looks like he will be able to. Attempting to run back through the river. Is he going to get oh, walled? Oh, almost gets walled off. Now going back up on the north side. Very low on hit points, but really able to survive. Keeping that carry alive ever, ever so important. In the middle portion now, you can see... Um, what the creep wave getting stopped by a lot more of these champions here. The tier 2 towers are still up and running. As you can see, in all of the Protoss army now in the forest, are we going to perhaps get a pluck coming in from Drake? That is a key question as LZ is also in the battle as well. He is now getting engaged level. There is the, there is the pluck. Uh, I believe that was a wasted pluck there. A putrefied now coming in. Both sides battling now. There's a wall. So much happening. There comes in, uh, another toilet. Toilet knocking the players into the air. And who's going to win out in this battle? It looks like, oh, another toilet coming back in. Down goes Biotron. As both sides are just damaging and destroying each other. A quick pluck coming back in. It looks like T-Bone is in a bit of trouble. As Drake now down on hit points as well. If who's going to win in that engagement? It looks as though the score is now 9-11 to 11 in favor of Zerg. But this is a very, very close game now. As um, the towers are all the tier 1 towers. No, only one tier 1 tower left down over here. T-Bone is sitting at level 9. Meanwhile, David's sitting... Oh, can I just go view? Uh, yeah, 11, 9, 9, and 8 with a 12 Grunty. Meanwhile, we have a Drake sitting at 8. Uh, Drake turned off of his... Come on, Unix. 
No, Unix turned it off too. Uh, LZ. Yeah, LZ. 11, 11, 8, 8, and 9. Heroes back in the center. Death and Taxes alongside Grunty clearing off that center creep wave. Doing a great job so far as both sides are now just trying to clear out their own respective forests in order to get more minerals and buy more and more powerful items. Stay tuned for part 2 of this replay of this in-house game. So far a very very close matchup and um, really really too early to call who will be able to come out on top.